This is Zach Eskridge from Midwestern State. Zach, what is it going to take to be successful in the South Division this season after five of the seven teams went to postseason? Uh, I mean, it just, I mean, everything. It just, all the intangibles come into effect. I mean, people think it's all on me or whatever, but I'm just like, well, it's all on our team. You know, uh, our offensive line has to be good and receivers, running backs, picking up people. And then uh, our defense got to, you know, keep people off the field and take care of business that way. So, uh, it's just a little bit of everything, and uh, I think if we can just keep everything just going the way it's been going and, you know, just stay positive and stay on the same page, both min uh, mentally and physically, then we'll be all right. All right. Zach, how does it feel to be named South Division Offensive Player of the Year? Uh, it's a great honor, but uh, I've always been like an under-the-radar guy, and now uh, everybody's kind of out to get me, I guess. So. Uh, it makes it, uh, it's a little different, but I mean, at the same time, it's a humbling experience. Uh, it's good to be noticed finally in your life, but you, know, you can't sneak up on anybody anymore. But uh, I was telling somebody earlier, I mean, I'm, a, I'm as good as everybody else, you know, as, as, uh, I'm as good as my team makes me. I mean, and then, I mean, you get the more, the further you get in the postseason or whatever, the more recognition you're going to get because you're going to have better numbers for more games or and whatnot. So, uh, I mean, I, I'd rather have a national championship than a Harlan Hill Award. So it really, it really doesn't matter. It's just, I'm just, I just want to win. So it doesn't matter. All right. Last year was a record-breaking season for you. What was or is the key for those numbers again this year? Uh, I mean, it's it's still the team. You know, it's, I mean, we, we lost some guys in the O line and uh, we lost uh, Andy Tanner at receiver, but. Uh, we also got a lot of guys coming come back. Both uh, Brad Dittmer and uh, Hank Gilly had some playing time last year, and we got some other guys in, like when we got leads or whatever. And uh, our uh, left tackle that we got in at, from a JUCO in uh, California is really good, and we got a guy uh, named Justin Rito in from Western Illinois, receiver is really good. And um, I mean Jared Freeman, Matt Tanner, Dave Little, all those guys are gonna uh, gonna be great receivers for us. And then. We just got a plethora of running backs. So we got like six or seven running backs that are all really good players. So we're just going to have to find out where we're going to put them because, you know, I mean, you're only allowed 11 on the field. But uh, And then uh, uh, our defense looking really good. We got we got some guys that come in that uh, are going to make plays. Uh, we got some, some corners that are looking really good. And uh, uh, D-line, um, you know, Tim McGill, J.D. Corcoran, uh, Pat Roberts, all these guys. Pat Roberts, a corner. And... Um, and you still got Austin McDaniel at Rover and Ryan Craven out there at safety. So, uh, I mean, across the board, we still got a lot of experience. I mean, we did lose a lot of guys, but we also got a lot of, a lot of guys that have played as well. So, All right. What are your goals personally for this next year? Personally, I mean, I guess I kind of set a high bar last year. But, uh, you know, just to do, do just as good, if not better, than last year. I mean, you're always trying to, to outdo the guy in front of you. Or if, if it's yourself, outdo yourself. So, uh I mean, ultimately, I, I want to win, and I'll do whatever it takes to do that. And I think if we can do that, everything else personally will just take care of itself. So I'm just going to take it, you know, one practice at a time, one play at a time, and uh, just let the chips fall where they may. So. All right, Zach. Well, good luck. Thank you.